just doing a quick little ride. Got some some people in town that reached out on the forum that wanted to go for a ride. So we're doing Ote Mountain. I'm gonna see if I can explore that southern end uh, before the group ride. And we saw someone who's just riding around on the Gatwa MSX. And we chased him down and now he's on the ride with us. So we've got three people here today. So I passed the uh, mark where the other two 1860 watt hour 100 volt MSXs overheated. When I passed that point, I was uh, roughly around 60 degrees Celsius on this MSX. So it's the same wheel that they had, but I'm uh, a lot lighter. I'm at 72% battery under load and climbing. I think when I was stopped, I was at 85. Last time when I was here with the other MSXs, this is where they were at about 50%, 60% battery. I made it up here and resting, I'm at 71% battery. And I went from a full 100% on the 1860 watt hour 100 volt MSX. So it still burned quite a bit of battery. The King Song is probably at 86% battery. 87. What does it say? 76. 76? Okay. Wow, so we're actually really close. This is uh, now saying 73. That's, uh, that's good to know. The camera never does anything justice, but this view right here is just amazing, seeing these clouds. Low, low clouds and then these mountains coming up from the ground. Well, I well, just had a nice conversation with a Border Patrol officer and uh, he said that we can go to the to the wall coming in the southwest side, just not from the southeast side, which is what I tried last time. So that makes me so happy that we're going to be able to go along the wall and we can actually ride along it. He said that's within our right to do. We just can't go from the west. Or, sorry, we can't come from the east. We have to go from the west. So we're gonna go down to the border. This is the, the crossroads. This is all new territory for me. But the border patrol said if the gates open, we can go. So we are going to go. All right, this is a pretty good view of uh, America and Mexico. You can see that wall pretty clearly. We're going to be riding right alongside of it. We're heading down to the border wall right now and this is uh, actually asphalt. It's paved, there's no dirt anymore. And this is uh, going down pretty steep as well. Nice to regain the batteries, or regenerate the batteries, but on the way up, sure gonna take a lot of juice. This is so fun though. Oh, there's the wall! I see it! Wow. We're literally yards away from the border. 100 volt MSX has been doing pretty well for a light, wide, a light rider. It's comparable to the 16XL um, with an average rider. <laughs> 190 versus one, 160. Wow, this is very steep. I'm at 92% battery now. Yeah, see, cars can totally ride this. Semi trucks, trailers, bring it on. Whee! All right, now that we're climbing again, let's see what my battery is at. 77. All right, first of many bridges. Don't know how many we'll get to, but you can see lots of these from uh, Google Maps. Ooh. Here 
bridge number two is probably 200 yards past the other one. This part is a very, ooh, very steep, lots of steep climbs and then dips as we're riding on the, the base of this mountain. These wheels are doing fine. It should be a nice view of the wall as we pass or as we press this. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Now that's a wall. Oh man, this is so cool. I just want to stop for a second. Oh. Say hello to Mexico. Hello, Mexico. We're gonna ride along this wall for a little bit. It's taken me three months, three months to see this view. I tried coming here from all angles. And I finally got it. Passed by the same uh, border patrol officer. He went ahead and checked everything out and said that everything's quiet up here, so, or down here. So it was an accident to kind of uh, check and make sure that we're not going to die. This is amazing. And I've done this in video games, but not in real life. The cool thing is, you can drive your car here. <laughs> I think I might turn back soon though. Because my battery is getting, I'm starting to see the 50s. 50% and I still got to climb 3,000 feet yeah this is very up and down up and down the cool thing is it's like this for three miles probably not gonna be able to go the full way based on time and battery but this is pretty nice Oh. This does not make it easy to see what the terrain looks like though. Oh. I wonder what this looks like on the camera, but for my eyes, it's very trippy. It'd be a good range test for both the uh, XL and the uh, 1845 watt hour, or 1860 watt hour MSX. All right, so we decided to turn back I'm at 75% battery, um, but I mean, we have to go up that, and there's no way to show you how steep that is, but I mean, those are switchbacks, and it's probably at least a thousand feet right there, um, so that's, that's really going to drain our battery, especially the, the 100 volt MSX. King Song's doing amazing. I mean, I can see the bottom of his pedals right now. <laughs> All right, let's check our temperatures. I'm still at 44. So 57 uh, temperature and what's your battery? 79. 79, that's amazing. We've gone 13 miles, over 3,000 feet of climbing, and the uh, HVXL is at 80% better. I'm at 74% and 44 temperature. So we will now climb this and see, see how it goes. So one thing that I've thought about is, is it, 
easier for wheels to climb when you're going at a certain amount of speed. The difference between five miles per hour and 10 miles per hour climbing, is that gonna make a difference on how much battery is used? That's one thing I'm interested in knowing. So if any of you guys have that answer, let me know. All right, so we made it to the top. I'm at 60 degrees C and at 56% battery. I'm at 75 C. Ooh. Five degrees away from overheating. Close. But we made it. Shut up, right? Yep. I mean, you still have to climb a huge mountain, but just those five switchbacks. It'll be interesting to see what elevation we're at. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. All right, let's keep on going. Hopefully 60% battery can get us 3,000 feet. So we're at the base of the mountain. From here on up, it's all gonna be climbing. So I'm at 62% on the MSX. 70%. 70%? Well, should be able to make it up and out. We made it out alive. Now we're back on the main truck trail. Oh, that was fun. Fun detour. So I'm at about 40%, 45%. The wheels are doing amazing. It's pretty cold, so the wheels are staying nice and cool. So close to the top, and uh, under load I was seeing 15%. Now I'm back up to 20. There's 18. 17, 15, going 11 miles per hour. Wheel temperature is at 45 feet. So we're gonna go to the very tippy tippy top. All right, made it to the top, tippy top. Unfortunately, it's just a very hazy day, so you can't really see anything. That's pretty cool, the mountain's coming up out of the clouds. But... All right, at the top of the mountain, MSX was at 35%, I think, and the XL was at 39. Pretty comparable. Uh, we've also got difference in weight. 190 versus 160. Now we're gonna go to down the mountain, see if we regain anything at all. All right, we made it. I'm sitting at 43%. 50%, wow, nice. I know, right? We were cooking coming down too, man. Yeah, we were cooking. We were at, what? I was at 30%, you were at 39% at the top? Yeah. At the bottom we gained about 10, almost 10%.